Hi guys, I'm Steve from Piranha Audiovisual and welcome to another one of our case study videos. We were approached by a church in Sandbach in Cheshire asking us if we could help them with streaming their services live onto the internet. One of the challenges here, they've got two buildings and they wanted to be able to stream from both of them. So we created a portable solution. Everything they need for streaming, apart from the cameras, is contained within this handy portable case. So I'm going to take this to the back of the church, I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to give you a little bit more details about what we've installed, why and how it works. So here we are at the back of the church, but before I open up this box and show you what's inside, I'm going to give you a little bit more information about the work that we've done here and why we've done what we've done. As I said before, they have two buildings here and the Boxer Tricks is designed to work in both buildings. What I didn't tell you was, they also wanted to be able to use the church hall as an overflow for this building. So one of the other things we do is we actually send the signal from here to the church hall and they can put it on the projector screen and take the sound into their PA system in there. And that allows them to um, cope with more people than they can fit in the church. That's been a problem in the past for funerals especially. Uh, some of those bigger funerals where there's a lot of family there, they've wanted to be able to use it as an overflow. In COVID times, it also allows them to have a number of the congregation in here, socially distanced, and then more people in the hall and allows more of the congregation to meet for their services than might otherwise be possible. Challenges involved with that? Well, this is an old Church of England building. It has electricity, doesn't have much else in terms of services. There's no internet over here, there's no phone lines here, none of that. So what we had to do was install cabling between the two buildings. We'll talk more about that later, but we've brought internet over to the church as well as some more data cables. So we can now fully connect the two buildings together. We can send signals between the two buildings. It also allowed us to install Wi-Fi in here so that they've got the use of Wi-Fi as well as the use of the streaming. The church needed a faculty for the work that was involved, quite common in Church of England for uh, any work that's going on. We held the hand through that, we produced all the information that's needed to make that process as, as easy and as simple as possible. So, now you've got a bit of the background about the job, let's talk about what we've installed here and why. One of the things we aim to do at Piranha is make everything as easy as possible for the end user. It might be harder work for us, but that's just once. Every time someone comes to use the system, it needs to be as easy as possible. It also needs to be as, as simple as possible. So as I start to show you through the box, you will see that every cable that plugs into this is all in one loom, which I have here. One loom of cables, all of the cables are labelled, but they're also different. If they're doing a different job, they're a different cable. So, as with anything technical, it's always best to plug the cables in before we allow any power into there. So let me show you that now. I've got two cameras with their own bespoke um, connectors on. They go on to the first things. They're labelled up camera one and camera two. And they're connected. They also lock in place, they're captive. You can't pull them out without pushing them in and rotating the connector on them. That just means if the cables get dragged, they don't pull out. We've got a network cable that's providing our internet connection to allow us to stream. We've got a HDMI cable that clicks in there. There's a five pin XLR that provides the data path to the cameras to control those. Five pin chosen because that's not used in microphones. Most churches have microphones. Again, that means it can't be confused, can't be plugged in the wrong place. And finally, a jack plug for the audio. That locks in place too and that provides all of our connections on here. We've taken the audio feed from the mixing desk, so that's all automated. When they put the faders up on the mixer for the service, the audio comes in to hear exactly what they'll want for the live stream. Finally, we've got a power con cable that plugs into the side of the box. Uh, as with all the others, you push it in, you turn it, it clicks, it locks in place. You'll now start to see things power up. One final thing, in order that you can see what you're doing and what is going on the live stream or across to the other building, under the foam lid, which I'll take out of the way, we have a monitor preview screen. It gives us the image from the two cameras that are installed and also tells us what's going out on the live stream. Lots of uh, simple features on here. Um, one of them here is that we can record the services live. There's a memory stick that is plugged into the ATEM Mini Pro ISO vision mixer and at the touch of one button 
we can tell it to record. That records whatever we're sending out on the stream, across the other building, it all goes onto there. It's also an option to record multiple cameras at once for editing afterwards, but one of the things they wanted to do here was stop editing services afterwards and have them ready to go out of the box um, for those that they don't stream live. So, we have presets that have been set up here for different shots on the camera, and I am going to just now switch to camera one. And you'll see camera one is a nice zoomed in shot of the altar table at the front. And with some very simple button presses, I can change that shot and the camera instantly zooms in on a different position. It's moved to the lectern as a wide shot of the lectern. We want a close up of the lectern, a couple of button presses again. The cameras have automatically zoomed in on the lectern. So controlling the cameras, really simple, couple of button presses, recalls a preset and those presets go live. In terms of the vision mixer, we have camera one, we have camera two, which is giving us a nice wide shot and we have camera three or input three, which is currently fed into by the computer that provides the words on the screen at the front of the church. So that's all integrated. So whatever they're doing in the church, all of it can be recorded, streamed live out onto the internet or streamed into the church hall as an overflow. So, I told you before that we needed to connect the church building to the church hall building in order to get the internet through. To do that, the cables had to come all the way through from the back of the church to the front, through a one metre thick wall, through a one metre thick floor, into the basement, and then out of the basement in an underground duct. That underground duct had to come round this part of the building, across under the ground, under the path, along the fence line, under the fire door, all the way across to here. <laughs> 